Hi, how are you doing? This is Analysis by Doing. I'm Manu Vasudevan, Certified AWS Solutions Architect and Data Analyst at your service. Welcome to Analysis by Doing, a series of data analysis sessions in which we do hands-on projects analyzing data using Amazon Web Services. The target audience is aspiring data analysts and AWS cloud enthusiasts. What good is any knowledge when not put to good use? We will exercise our AWS skills on the terrain of data science. Join us in our data analytics journey in the vehicle of Amazon Web Services. Welcome to this session on Environment Setup. First, we'll register a new AWS free tier account. In there, we'll create a billing alarm and administrator account. Then, we'll create an S3 bucket for our project portfolio, which will also host a static website. In there, we'll create subfolders for project 1, 2, 3, and however many we do throughout the series. After this, we'll launch an EC2 Windows Server instance for our data analysis environment. When we remote into that, we'll install Chrome and Anaconda. Also, we'll create a Jupyter Notebook and download it as a .html file. Then, we'll install Visual Studio Code. In there, we'll create a file called index.html. Both files will then be uploaded to the S3 portfolio bucket. After doing so, we'll create a project portfolio distribution in CloudFront from our S3 bucket. This way, we'll be able to view the final web page we create. Finally, we're going to stop and not terminate the EC2 instance with the data analysis environment. The reason for this is that we'll use this particular EC2 instance for many of the projects we will do throughout this series. Launch the Chrome browser. Navigate to aws.amazon.com. Click on Create an AWS account. In the Sign up for AWS account form, fill in your email address. Click in the password to view password criteria and create an appropriate password. In the Confirm Password field, retype the same password. In the AWS account name field, key in an account name of your choice. Click on Continue Step 1 of 5 button. If security check comes up, type the characters shown. In case your entry is incorrect, feel free to use the alternative audio security check by clicking on the audio icon. Click on Continue Step 1 of 5. In the Sign Up for AWS form, please be sure to key in your own contact information and not the sample details that we show. Choose the option Personal for your own projects. Key in your full name. Enter your country code and phone number. Choose your country or region from the dropdown. Enter your address. Enter your city and the state, province, or region, and the postal code. Check the box, I have read and agreed to the terms of the AWS customer agreement, and click on Continue Step 2 of 5. In the Sign Up for AWS Billing Information form, key in your credit or debit card details. Under Billing Address, choose the address with which you created your account, or you may provide an alternative address. Click on Verify and Continue, Step 3 of 5. In the Confirm Your Identity page, choose Text Message or Voice Call, and provide the contact phone number. If Security Check comes up, type the characters shown, or as mentioned earlier, you can use the audio icon. Click on Send SMS, Step 4 of 5. Check your mobile phone for the verification code from AWS. In the Confirm Your Identity page, key in the verification code that you received in your mobile phone. Click on Continue, Step 4 of 5. Finally, you are asked to select a support plan. Accept the default basic support to stay within the free tier. Click on Complete Sign Up. You are shown the congratulations screen. Check your email for a few Welcome to AWS Services emails. We have successfully registered for a new AWS free tier account. 
Let's create billing alarm with a threshold of $1. To keep us motivated to produce more of such high quality free content, please subscribe to this channel. Hit the like button below, leave a comment or two, and share this video with your colleagues, friends, and other budding cloud analysts. Having signed up for the AWS free tier, let us start a new session at the AWS console. In a new browser window, navigate to aws.com. Click on the sign in button. In the sign in screen, select root user and key in the email address that you used to sign up for the free tier account. Click on next. If security check comes up, type the characters shown and click on submit. In root user sign in page, key in the password and click on sign in button. If the new AWS console home window pops up, click on switch to the new console home. In the AWS management console screen, click on the region drop down in the top right corner and select North Virginia. Click on your account name in the top right corner and click on Billing Dashboard. In the left panel, click on Billing Preferences. In the Preferences page, check all boxes. Receive PDF invoice by email. Receive free tier usage alerts, receive billing alerts, and click on the Save Preferences button. Note the Preferences Saved message pop up on top. Click on Manage Billing Alerts link in the last line. Close the notification boxes, if any. In the CloudWatch console that opens in a new tab, in the left pane, expand the alarm submenu and click on Billing. Click on Create Alarm in the top right corner. In the Specify Metric and Conditions page, click on Select Metric. In the Select Metric page, under the Metric section, click on Billing. In the Browse tab that opens up, click on Total Estimated Charge. Check the row which lists your currency and the selected metric. Click on Select Metric. In the Specify Metric and Conditions page, under the Conditions section, choose the threshold type Static, and for whenever estimated charges is, choose Greater or Equal Than. Key in a minimal amount, like $1. Now click on Next. In the Configure Actions page, within the Notification section, choose In Alarm and create a new topic. Accept the default topic name. Type your email address that will receive the alarm notification. Click Create Topic. Scroll down and click on Next. In the Add Name and Description, key in an alarm name like Charges Alarm. Feel free to provide an optional description if you would like, for example, when charges reach $1 or above, and click on Next. 
In the Preview and Create page, review your selections and then click on Create Alarm. In the Billing Alarms page, if there is a warning indication under Actions, click on it to read the message. In a new browser window, open your email inbox and open the AWS SNS Topic Signup email. Click on Confirm Subscription to add this email address as a subscriber to the SNS Topic for your alarm. Otherwise, your alarm will not function properly. Come back to the CloudWatch Billing Alarm tab and refresh the page by pressing F5. Let's enable Billing Dashboard access to all accounts. Click on your account name at the top right hand corner and click Account. In the Account Settings page, scroll down to IAM User and Roll Access to Billing Information. Click to expand the section and select Edit if required. Check Activate IAM Access and click Update. Note the message IAM User Role Access to Billing Information is activated. We have successfully created our billing alarm. Now let's create our account alias and create an AWS Administrator account. We will create an admin user with all permissions to replace our use of the root user going forward. In the AWS console, click on the search bar on top and type IAM. Click on IAM to access your IAM dashboard. Close any notification windows if necessary. Click on Create or Edit under Account Alias in the top right side. Key in a unique alias and click Save Changes. The system will ensure the uniqueness of your preferred alias. Note the alias creation message and close the notification bar. In the IAM dashboard left pane, click on Users. Click on Add Users. Add a username like Analyst1. In the Select AWS Access Type section, check both boxes to give the user programmatic and console access. Choose and specify a custom password. Since you are the only user in this scenario, uncheck User Must Create a New Password at Next Sign-In and click on Next Permissions. Click on Create Group to add an Administrator's Group. In the Create Group pop-up window, enter Group Name Admins. Check the policy name Administrator Access and click on Create Group. Back in the Add User screen, ensure that the newly created admins group is selected and click on Next Tags. Tags being optional and primarily used for account usage reporting, we will skip this and click on Next Review. In the Review screen, check your selected options and click on Create User. Note the success message. Click on Download CSV to download the access key credentials, that is, the access key ID and secret access key. Click on Close. 
Note the user has been created success message. Click on account name and drop down in the top right corner and click on sign up. Hopefully, we will not need to sign into AWS with the root user login again. Move the downloaded credential CSV file to a safe location like the .ssh subdirectory under your user home directory. We have successfully created the admin user account. Let's create an S3 bucket for our project portfolio static website. In a browser window, navigate to aws.com. Click on Sign into the console. Choose IAM user. Enter your account alias and click Next. Key in the admin username that you created earlier, Analyst1. Enter the password and click Sign in. If the new console home window pops up, click on Switch to the new console home. In the search bar on top, key in S3. Click on S3. Click on Create Bucket. Close notification bars if any. In the Create Bucket page, under General Configuration, enter a bucket name like ABD Portfolio 1. Ensure that the bucket name is unique. In the AWS Region dropdown, select the region closest to you. In my case, it would be Ohio. Scroll down and click on Create Bucket. In the S3 console, select and click the ABD Portfolio 1 bucket. Click on the Objects tab. Click on the Create Folder button to your right. On the Create Folder page, in the Folder section, key in a folder name Project 1 and click on Create Folder. Back on the Objects tab, click on Create Folder. On the Create Folder page, in the Folder section, key in a folder name Project 2 and click on Create Folder. Back on the Objects tab, click on Create Folder one more time. On the Create Folder page, in the Folder section, key in a folder name Project 3 and click on Create Folder. We have created the S3 bucket for our project portfolio static website. Thank you for watching and following along. This was session one of our three part series intro to our analysis by doing playlist. To keep us motivated to produce more of such high quality free content, please subscribe to this channel. Hit the like button below, leave a comment or two, and share this video with your colleagues, friends, and other budding cloud analysts. We will resume our environment setup process in the next session. Until then, this is Manu Vasudevan wishing you a very happy analysis by doing. Stay tuned!